Lesson 1, Registering for a Class, 1. Could you help me to register for a class? Do you know what class you want to take? Are there any psych classes available? I believe there are still two psychology classes open. On what days are the classes? There is one class on Tuesday and Thursday from 2 to 4. Can you tell me about the other class? It's from 10 to 12 on Monday and Wednesday. You're positive that these are the only classes left? These two are the only ones. The class on Monday and Wednesday will be fine. Very good. Lesson 2. Registering for a class. Hello, I need to register for a class. What class are you trying to take? I want to take a psychology class. Well, there are only two classes open. Can you tell me what days the classes are on? One class is on Tuesday and Thursday from 2 to 4 p.m. And the other class? That class is from 10 to 12 on Monday and Wednesday. Are you sure these are the only open classes? Yes, I am sure. Okay, sign me up for the class on Monday and Wednesday. Very well, then. Lesson 3, Registering for a Class I would like to register for a class today. No problem. What class would you like to take? I would very much enjoy taking a psychology class. There are two classes that are still open. Which days are these classes on? The first class is a Tuesday and Thursday class from 2 to 3. What about the other class? The other class is on Monday and Wednesday from 10 until noon. Are you sure there are no more open classes? I'm positive. Sign me up for Monday and Wednesday. Okay, I'll sign you up. Lesson 4, Talking to Professor About Being Absent I have to miss school next week. Isn't there some way you could work your schedule out to be here? Unfortunately, that is what I have to do. How are you going to catch up? I've got it all covered. If you miss this class, you will have used up your quota for the semester. Don't worry. This will be the last class I miss. Make sure to remind me right before you are absent. I'll remember. Enjoy your day off and don't forget to study. Lesson 5, Talking to Professor About Being Absent Excuse me, Professor. I'm going to miss next week's class. Is this something that you could schedule for another time? No, I have to do this. It's important. Have you arranged for someone to take notes for you? I've made arrangements with a friend to help me. You know that I only allow one absence per semester, don't you? Yes, I know. Write down your name and the date on a piece of paper and give it to me. Okay, I can do that. Well, have a good day off from class. Lesson 6, Talking to Professor About Being Absent Professor, I will not be here for our next class meeting. Is this absolutely necessary? I tried to work something out, but I really do have to miss one class. Will you be able to make up the work you missed? I'm going to be doing a lot of extra reading. Remember that I will only let you miss one class meeting per semester. Yes, I remember. Could you email me this week as a reminder? Sure, no problem. Make good use of that day off. You'll only have one this semester. Lesson 7, Fighting a Parking Ticket I don't know how to fight a parking ticket. Did you get written up for exceeding the time limit or for parking where you weren't supposed to be? Both. 
Did you see all the signs and just decide to blow them off? I was confused. Maybe you could explain that you are new and got confused. Could you do that? If it might work, I'll go for it. Let the judge see that you are only a poor, starving student who won't do it again. I can see how that might work. Without actually saying that the parking ticket guy was an idiot, make it seem as though it was his mistake, not yours. I could do that. Try it. It just might save your price of a parking ticket. Lesson eight: Fighting a parking ticket. Hey, I got this parking ticket. Can you help me figure a way out of it? First of all. Did you park somewhere too long or in the wrong spot? I was there too long. Was the area clearly labeled with the time limit and all? Yeah, I saw it. You will need to convince the judge that you couldn't see the signs. Yeah, I understand. Whatever you do, you need to be respectful and polite to the judge. Yeah, you're right. Just try to talk to him about how, if you made a mistake, that it won't happen again. Okay. Good luck. Lesson nine: Fighting a parking ticket. Man, I got another parking ticket. I'm so unlucky. What can I do? Was your car where it wasn't supposed to be, or did you stay there too long? I was in an area where I wasn't supposed to park. Could you tell where you were supposed to park and for how long? I could tell what I was supposed to do. That's too bad. That means that you can't use receipts or a witness to help you out. I guess not. Try brown nosing the judge, but don't be too obvious about it. Sure, if it will help. Try and convince him that something was labeled wrong or something. Sounds good. Give it your best shot. It might work. Lesson ten: Buying textbooks. Can you help me buy my textbooks? There will probably be a book list in the bookstore. Do you have your class schedule handy? No, I don't have that. To get started, take that list over to the bookstore. Do you know where the bookstore is? I am not sure where the bookstore is. When you pass the gym, it'll be the first door on your left. Do you know how to sell your old textbooks for money? Yes, I knew I could do that. Exactly, how do I go about selling them? If you give your used textbooks to the person at the booth outside the door, he will reimburse you. Can you go over there today? I think maybe I could be there. I am free at one today or tomorrow if you need some help. Want to meet me over there? Maybe that would work. I'll catch you later on. Have a wonderful morning. Lesson eleven: Buying textbooks. How do I buy my textbooks? Do you have your book list for your class? Yes, I have my list. Fine. Once you have it, you can go to the bookstore. Do you know where that is? Yes, I know where the bookstore is. Okay. So once you pass the gym, it's the first door on your left. Do you know you can also sell your used textbooks there? No, I didn't know I could do that. You just take them with you and trade them with the used textbook man just outside the door. Do you think you will be going there today? Yes, I am going today. Well, if you decide to go, I could meet you over there at one today or tomorrow to help. Would that work for you? Yes, thank you. That would be great. Well then, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Lesson twelve: 
buying textbooks. Where can I buy textbooks? First, you need to have the list of books for your class. Do you have that? Yes, I have that. Well, when you have that, you can take it over to the bookstore. Can you find it? No, I don't know where the bookstore is. Just pass the gym, and it's the first store on your left. Were you, were you aware that you can also turn in your old textbooks for money? Really? How can I do that? Take your used textbooks with you and give them to the representative near the entrance. He will pay you for them. Are you going today? No, I can't make it today. I could help you with buying your books if you meet me there at 1 today or tomorrow. Would you like my help? No, thanks. I'm good. I'll see you later then. Have a great day. Lesson 13. Finding an error in your test score. Could we go over some things because I think my test score is wrong. What do you think is wrong? The math or the way you answered was scored? Both. I am willing to take a second look because teachers make mistakes too. Will that work for you? Yeah, I'm ready. Check your answers against the ones on the answer sheet and let me know where you see the mistake. These look strange. Yes, I agree. Let's move on to calculating of the score. Would that be okay? Okay, let's do the calculation. We add all of these up and divide by this and that gives us the, this percentage. I see. Anytime you have a question, please feel free to ask. Lesson 14, finding an error in your test score. Excuse me, professor. I think there might be an error in my test score. Sure. Do you think that the total is wrong or that you get something marked wrong that should have been marked right? I think that the percentage is incorrect. Let's just go over all of it to double check. Sure, let's do it. Here is the answer sheet. Do you see a place where I marked something wrong that should have been right? I don't see any mistakes. Okay, now that we've gotten those straightened out, let's total the score. Yes, let's total it. Well, if I total that like this and divide by this number, I get this total. Do you agree? Yes, you're right. Well then, we are all straight. Have a good day and thanks for bringing that to my attention. Lesson 15, finding an error in your test score. I was looking at my test score and think that it should be higher. Is the math wrong? or the way the answer was marked. I think an answer got marked wrong that should have been marked right. These things can happen. Let's double check. The answer is first to be sure, all right? That would be great. Look at the answer sheet and compare it to your answers. Do you see any place where I made a mistake in grading? This one right here should be right. Yeah, I see the same thing. Now we can do the math and check that, right? Yeah, let's do the math. I count all the correct answers, total them, and divide by the total. Does this look right to you? Looks pretty good. Thank you for caring enough to check on your scores. Keep studying. Lesson 16, Date and Time of a Field Trip what date will our field trip be on? The science field trip is next Monday at 8 o'clock in the morning. Do you want to make a note of that on your calendar? Yes, I will make a note of that. Next Monday is December 2nd. The buses will leave at 8, but we must begin loading at 7.30. I'll be there half an hour early. 
You might want to tell whoever is pick, picking you up that you will return on December 8th. Do you have a ride? Yes, someone is picking me up. To get back to campus by 8 p.m., we will be leaving the campsite at 5 p.m. Do you have any more questions? Not at the moment. Maybe later, though. All of the extra information that you need is on the bulletin board in the hallway. See you on Monday. Lesson 17, Date and Time of the Field Trip When are we leaving for our field trip? Our science field trip is next Monday at 8 in the morning. Can you mark that on your calendar? Yes, I will write that down. That will be Monday, December 2nd. We need to start loading the buses half an hour early, so plan to arrive at 7.30. Yes, I will be there on time. We will return six days later on December 8th. Will someone be picking you up? Yes, someone is coming to get me. The return bus will leave the campground at 5 p.m. and return to campus three hours later at 8 p.m. What should we bring with us? I'm going to post all of that information on the Geology Club webpage. Check it out when you get a chance. See you Monday! Lesson 18, Date and Time of the Field Trip can you tell me what the date and time of our field trip is? We are leaving on our science field trip at 8 a.m. next Monday. Do you have something to write that down on? Yes, I can write that on my calendar. That will be on the 2nd of December. Be there half an hour early to get your bags on the bus. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. The bus will bring you back six days later on December 8th. Is someone coming to get you? No, I don't have a ride yet. We will be leaving the campground at 5 in the evening and arrive at our campus at 8 p.m. Any more questions? How much will the trip cost? I put all that information in the packet. I'll give you another copy if you need one. See you on Monday.